by uh, clean water. Uh, when we were testing them, I noticed that one road we were at 300, and then over here, a couple of hydrants down, we were like 1800. Well, I knew there was a problem contacted the water department, which had like fire in their butt to go out and check it. One of the key watches was closed. Yeah. So it wouldn't allow the water to go around because it's, it's a looped system. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know their system that well. I didn't, <coughs> I didn't look to see what they were. But review it. Let me know what you guys think. I will look and see what the hydrants are. And if you got questions you want me to ask, them, just let me know and I'll, I'll pursue them. Okay. You got any other new business, Gene? Yep. Have okay. another one. Um, just to give you an update on the station here. We've been doing a lot of uh, upgrading the station and remodeling and getting things done. Uh, currently, uh, we've got all new, well, all the offices now have desks and chairs and filing cabinets. We've got a nice uh, conference table we got from uh, Nicholas Treatment Center that's in there. Uh, we're removed from both sides. We've retained, we're pretty much done with this side. We have just a little bit to do. I got some baseboard I got to put down because I didn't like the way I was, when I was cutting in, screwed up the baseboard. So we pulled it. We're going to put the new baseboard on the one wall. Uh, we got the, all the dorms are done. The hallway's done. We moved the lockers. They're down here now in this hallway. <coughs> in where the old dorm was, that room has been cleaned out, painted, and we uh, got a hold of uh, the uh, compressor for our SCBA. Um, Gary Benzel's son, Cody, come out and unhook the, the electric for us. Tomorrow we're going to take the bottles off. We'll need to get with Joe or somebody from the road department to take those and scrap them. And we'll pull the old SCBA compressor out, put the new one in, and then Cody will have to come back and rewire that up, and then they'll come in and finish it off by running the rest of the lines. Um, the dorm, see we got two bathrooms to do yet, painting. This room to get painted. The uh, vestibule, we're going to paint that as well. We're looking at an Irish cream. And you guys, if you have an executive session, you'll see the Irish cream is on these three walls. That wall over there is red. So you'll see how the accents the, the Irish cream. It's actually a nice color. Um, we want to do the, the vestibule and then the, the day room. It needs, it needs to be, there's a lot of holes. We had a five gallon bucket of uh, sealant, you know, to fill the holes. Um, we only had maybe half of that, and it's pretty much gone. We filled a lot of holes, and we still have some more to go in. Uh, currently, we're at, because uh, a lot of all the, all the uh, office stuff that we've got, we've got for free. Uh, we're right now at $4,318 what we've invested into this building. The last thing that I, I'd like to make is one major purchase. Um, when it brings the board to, to you know what, uh, what we're going to do. The day room over there, they have old couch, leather couches. Those guys have been sleeping on those. It's disgusting. And I want to get rid of those. And that everything that they have over in that day room has all been hand-me-downs. Hand-me-down couches, hand-me-down chairs, hand-me-down kitchen table. Uh, I found a place, it's called Working Fire uh, Furniture. Uh, they hand-make these things before they send them out. I found a, uh, a rated recliner for 500 pounds because firemen like to plop into, into their chairs. They don't actually sit in them. They all come with a seven year uh, uh, warranty on them. I found, and then we had a dining table with a laminate top. And then uh, when you go to a restaurant, you ever see the steel chairs with the padded seats? We got those, there are like six of those for 89. The total cost is $4,201. It's still part of within the budget what I put together for once we got this place. And once we're done with here, once this is completed, and, and this week also we're, we're put, installing the four uh, Murphy beds over there in 59s. And then once we get this completed, and Cody's going to work with me on uh, getting the bathroom done, and then also moving the wall that's in that SCA to get the laundry room a little bit bigger. So we're going to work on 59s. Mostly once we get this completed, we've got everything done. But I just wanted to make, to make sure there was no issue with getting these guys uh, new furniture, since everything they have over there is all hand-me-down stuff. So, and it's all part of the budget that we have to get when we did this. How close are we to getting the tanker? 
Well, we can't see anything right now unless we're bringing them out yet, but uh, we have the specs. Uh, we just need to start seeing some of the trucks so we can see which one we want to go with. Can't control the manufacturer, they won't let them out of the building. That was the same reason with some of the delays we have with everything else is because the COVID's pretty much stopped. It's starting, things are starting to open up, but we've been kind of on a standstill right at the moment. I don't I don't regulate the uh, the manufacturers, I can't make them do anything. Good with you buying a furniture team. Uh, those two trustees, you okay with him? You can't take action in a work session. I just asked him, so we'll do that. I'm just asking your opinion on it, so we'll make it not make a decision. Are you okay with him buying the furniture? We'll decide on it and then we the meeting. You're not going to make the same thing. Motion to adjourn him. Second. Okay. Question. We're out. Question. Um, We're out. Of I Opening of administrative office at Academy Center. I don't think that should be discussed in the regular meeting. If we got questions, what, what was that about? I mean, well, what so time, what, when does the trustees want to open up the office? But, you know, the county still has the building closed. Okay. But if they were to open in the next two, three weeks, if the county would open up the building then, you know, what do we do? And that's why I was asking the trustees. It doesn't matter if it's a regular meeting or the work session. It doesn't matter what just we follow have. the policy. Is this, a, is this an open yeah. house, though, or just, just letting people No, know. just letting people know that they can yeah. start walking into the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to open house, that's a whole different ball game. Yeah. Before you close, I want to say something to Chief. Uh, it's great to see that we're finally going to use those Murphy beds that I got donated from the city of Brookville. We got one in. in we got one in there already. We got one put in today. <laughs> when we got those donated and we all went up and got trailers and hauled them all home ourselves, I thought, you know, are we going to visualize this actually happening? And it's happening. Uh, Thursday we're going to we're going to install those over 59s. We we practice on the one we put in McIntyre's office first, so we know how to do it now. That's all I have. Okay. Right. Well, you adjourn the meeting, all right? Yeah, yeah, we already adjourned. Yeah. Like 6.42. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Residents. 